are you closer to? Oh my god. Okay. Hey everybody, it's me, Lappy, and welcome back to my channel for another episode of Let's Play The Sims 4, The Chandler Family. So, oops. So, as you can see, Cashew aged up into an adult dog sometime during the night. And Pidge is just kind of hanging out with him right now. She's trying to trying to teach him how to roll over. And he is just the cutest and prettiest dog. Like, this, this is a beautiful dog. Oh god, what happened to you, plant? Okay. But today, I think Oasis and May are going to go and get engaged, which is going to be very exciting. Uh, I built a restaurant just for this occasion. It's out in Brindleton Bay. And it should be pretty fun. Oh, her responsibility is going up from teaching the dog how to roll over. But yeah. Oasis and May are going to go out as soon as the kids go off to school. Oh man. Uh, why don't you go ahead and lecture the cat about scratching because he's scratching up. He, right? Hang on. Yeah, because he's scratching up the chair. What do you mean you can't? Alright, whatever. Um, Oasis is going to work from home today. And she needs to start a debate for left or right politics and secure votes. Uh, who are you? Darius Urpan. You should work. Go give him a polite introduction. I just want to get that done really quick before we end up going out. She is doing so good in her career, and I'm very proud of her. Uh, I'm going to get them engaged today. Ooh, my Christmas plays playlist is still up because it Christmas. The restaurant I built is even Christmas themed. But okay. Dag dag. Okay, first let's secure his vote. Or wait, I should promote policies first. Uh, political career, promote policies. Okay, she's successfully promoted her policies. Now let's go ahead and secure his vote. Yeah, they're gonna get engaged today, and then in the next episode, they're gonna have their wedding and try for a baby. So that'll be interesting. Okay, cool. We secured his vote. Wait, don't leave me yet. I need to debate politics with you. Stop. Stop that. Don't leave me. Let's debate politics from the left. Cause personal preference. Okay dude, come here. Oh, we should take care of our garden too. Shouldn't we? And we can do that after we've gotten engaged. That's my first priority for the day. Alright. Cool. Okay, we've done that. Now we can just chill. Okay, looks like the kids are off to school. Go children, go. Okay, I'm gonna have you study hard and you study hard. And now we're gonna go ahead and travel out to Brindleton Bay. The restaurant is called Country Christmas. It's all decked out for the Christmas spirit and it looks very nice, I think. But I am a little bit biased because I literally just built it. Okay. Actually, I think that the um, speed build for it should show up within the next few weeks. Alright, here it is. Country Christmas. We're going to go here with May. Have a good time. Get engaged. And, um, 
Oh my gosh, I'm actually a little bit nervous for them. But we're gonna eat first, I think. Just gonna get some food. And then maybe we'll go out to the docks and propose to her. Oh boy. I'm so excited. I have shipped these two from day one. And I'm just so glad that they're finally getting married and... I, I don't know. Am I making any sense? Probably not. I'm just really happy for them. I feel like they were... Not literally, because I made May a long time ago, but I feel like they belong together, you know? They were made for each other. Okay, here we are. Country Christmas. Take your seats. Okay, looks like we'll have to request this one, because it's the only other two-person table. But the waiters are all decked out in, like, this kind of thing. And the host looks silly in their, um, Christmas sweater and elf hat. Uh, the game froze. It's alright. We just gotta, like, give it a second. Why do we have a cowboy here? Is my question. Arush. Why are you a cowboy? Why he look like that? Alright. Thanks, my dude. This is a very small restaurant, but we're gonna go ahead and order for the table. I don't think I want to get them alcohol, but uh, we can get root beer floats together. That's cute. And then for food, I think we're gonna go ahead and get Oasis a shepherd's pie, and you a rack of lamb. Alright. Going ahead and doing that. And then we can go ahead and try and fill our romance up a little bit further. Oop, didn't mean to open up MC Command Center. Hi, Nina Caliente. You look very fancy today. You know, now that I think on it, this is probably a very inconvenient outfit for waiters to wear. But, uh, catch me when I care. No, don't caress cheek. Stay seated. Just blow a kiss. That's what I wanted. I wanted you to blow a kiss. I just want to get their romance up high, just to make sure that she says yes. Be enticing, maybe? Looks like she's gonna get another promotion in 23 hours. Go ahead and flirt a little bit, maybe? I'm, I'm happy for Johnny Zest. Alright. Oh my gosh, I love them so much. They're so cute. Oh, May learned one of her traits. Shouldn't you two know each other pretty well by now? What do you want to do? Get married to May. Yeah, we can do that, but I think we should probably get engaged first. Alright, we got four whole dollars from that book we wrote once when we were a teenager. How nice. Ooh, is this our food? It is our food. I'm just reciting love poetry, that's adorable. Alright. You two go ahead and eat. I'm glad they live together so I can control both of them. Wait, do we have room? Three, four, five, six. Yeah, we have room in our household for all the kids I wanted. Okay, cool. I'd like for them to have two more kids. A boy and a girl, preferably. But I do want them to have two more kids, hence why they live in a um, six, no, five bedroom house. I was just worried that maybe the pets were filling up the household a bit too much. So let's just chill here and wait for them to get done with their food. Okay. 
maybe keep flirting over the phone. They love each other so much. I love them so much. I'm gonna cry. Like, look at how cute they are together. Look at how sweet this is. I kind of like to... Oh, we already have a group? Okay. That's good. We have two waitresses just kind of chilling. Watching us eat. I mean... Whatever floats your boat, ladies. Whatever floats your boat. They are sad and lonely. Wait, are, are either of you even married? Oh, yeah. She's married to someone named... Oh, no, she's not married. But her mom ended up married a munch? Wait. Katrina, what? What you... Munch. Okay, you're married to a guy named Princeton Hickey. Okay. But I need to know which mun munch Katrina married. Do we know Katrina? We don't know Katrina. Oh boy. I guess we'll never know. Okay, let's go ahead and end the meal and pay the bill. And I'd like to go upstairs to get engaged. I'm gonna go ahead and light the fireplace. And then we're gonna come sit on the couch together. You just do that real quick. Okay. This needs to be romantic. No, leave me alone, weirdo. May, are you coming? I'm making you leave. Go away. I don't know you. Please leave. We're trying to do this. Okay, let's, um... Kiss on the couch. Go in for the kill. They're so cute. I'm gonna die. Now go ahead and stand in front of the fire. Alright. Now go ahead and... Romance... Propose. Okay. She said yes! She said yes! I'm so happy. <laughs> My babies are gonna get married. Alright. Let's go ahead and go home now, I think. Who's calling you? No, Talia, I don't want to chat. Why don't you go ahead and open the holiday cracker? I want to see what's in these. What you got? A special collectible plushie from the holiday cracker. There's also a joke scrawled on a slip of paper. What do you call the ghost of a turkey? A poultry geist. And she got the plushie too. What did leprechauns unanimously vote as their favorite stuff? A perfect patio stuff. Aw. It's cute. Oh, she got Meduso. And you got this one. Oh. Those are cute. Nice little celebrations of their engagement. Alright, let's go ahead and head back home. We can put these medusos up somewhere. Um, our household is going to be so full. Just, it's going to be slight chaos. Okay, let's go ahead and head back home. Hang on, let me check something. See when. Okay, not too far off in the future. Alright. 
Let's head back home. Make sure the pets are being taken care of. Make sure everything's going good at home. And, um, put out our medusos. Maybe have, um, Oasis go ahead and fix up the garden. Maybe have May bond with the pets a little bit. I don't know. Maybe we can go play in the backyard with Cashew. There's so many Sims in my household. Like, it's a bit of a problem at this point, honestly, to have that many Sims under one roof. But I've done all my goals for this episode, so we don't need to worry about too much else. We're good. Okay. And you have loaded up the summer home. Okay. Now let's put these somewhere. Maybe on top of the fireplace is a good spot. Yes, I can fit them on top of the fireplace. Okay, and this one. Yes, they look so nice. Oh, we need to pay the bills. Alright, fine. You go ahead and water the plants, and you go ahead and pay the bills. And then you can go here. Doodle, why are you outdoors? You're not supposed to be out here, buddy. I'm getting rid of these. Wow, we got two whole dollars back. Two whole dollars. Why are my pets getting outside? You're supposed- Oh my gosh. You're supposed to need to stay indoors, but okay. That's why I made a whole fenced-in backyard, but I mean, it's whatever. It's whatever. Okay. Go ahead and call over the pets so I can so I can lock the front door. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and lock the door for all pets so they can't get out into the front yard again. Uh, why don't you go ahead and train him how to sit, maybe? I know that Pidge can do more with him. Oh, should I have the kid? I'll have the kids take a vacation day tomorrow for the wedding. So we can do that. What do you want to do? Volunteer with your family. We can do that. Okay, Jacob has a Jacob and Pidge have school projects to do. Did I forget to put lot traits on this place? I think I might have. Okay, why don't you go ahead and start working on this school project carefully, and Pidge, start working carefully on yours. Just go ahead and work on your school projects. Yeah, I must have forgotten to put, um, lot traits down. Because if I had... Which kid are you closer to? Oh my god. Okay. You should go ahead and help Pidge out, and you should also adopt both of the kids as care dependents. Because, I mean, you're going to marry their mom. So that might be necessary. Well, the basil can be harvested. And uh, Oasis, when you're done with this, why don't you come help Jacob with his project? Just generally be good parents to the children. Alright. Thank you, Talia. Okay. Oh god, why do you forsake how why have you forsaken me? Okay, thanks, Celine. Oh my god, Cashew. I love 
love these pets so much. They're too cute. They're just way too cute. I'm gonna die. Okay. Let's just keep working on these. Okay. Are the kids decently close yet? Yeah, they're friends. That's good enough, I suppose. Alright. We will sit here until they finish their school projects. Or not. I'm impatient already. Oh, great. What's wrong with the cat? Okay, go ask Doodle what's wrong. Should go ahead and take care of that. Aw, she finished hers. Okay, Doodle has nothing wrong anymore. So come back and assist with the project. And Pidge, go ahead and do your homework. Oh, both of them finished their school project, so I'm gonna have them both do their homework then. And alright, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode of the Chandler family here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please feel free to leave a like and comment and subscribe. I post new videos every single day, so if you'll check in tomorrow, I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye-bye!